guys this is Maria welcome back to my channel today we're talking about root mealy bugs on my stapelia and Huernia collection uh, last week I posted update on my Crisula and Achiveria collection a lot of you commented and really enjoyed seeing my collection and praised how it looks so well well today what I'm gonna show it's not gonna look so well and I think it's important to see that um, not always things go well uh, with succulents and even if you have been growing them for for years you can get pests you can get fungus and uh, you do your best to help your plants with knowledge you have so don't get discouraged I'm off to my um, Buddha number six I think <laughs> because I have lost five of them and I'm also uh, gonna probably today lose um, 60% of my Stapalia and Huernia collection, but you know, we are trying to do our best uh, in, in environment that we have. And I wanted today kind of show you uh, how root mealybugs look like, uh, what am I doing to clean my plants and help them recover, and who's gonna have to go and who's gonna stay. So let's take a look. So here are some of my Stapalias that are not in a good shape, and I have some more that also are struggling. As I was, you know, last week moving all the plants, I noticed that these were like rapidly getting worse. They really didn't grow much since the last winter, so I gave them a chance for a year to recover and they didn't. And then I started pulling some of them from the ground and look at this guys. You see that white around the roots? Uh, they have root mealy bugs. And then look at this. So these pots have holes. And look at what I found on the bottom of the tray. When you have these cotton ball looking like you know, clusters, those are mealy bugs. So, and then there is, you know, bugs on them, like here and here. And they're just, like, I'm, I'm not sure that this is worth keeping because they're very small. They're gonna have a hard time recovering when it's dorm dormancy time starting for them. In winter time, they're dormant. So I think I'm gonna trash most of these. Look at this, I already pulled this one out. And when I was on vacation, they did, were not watered for almost three weeks. So I don't know if that kind of helped to multiply root mealybugs. Um, they're in really poor shape. Look at this. Terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna trash all this here and disinfect the pots. I think actually this one here, this piece, doesn't have any mealybugs. It's very healthy. It doesn't have roots, but maybe I'm gonna try to root it in this one. So I pulled this little one. Look at this, guys. Very big root system, but look at the roots. If you can focus. Look at all the white around the roots. All the mealybugs sucking on them. And as a result, they have been uh, drying out on top or getting black on top. So this one looks in pretty good shape, but I'm going to still pull it out and just check the roots. Here it is guys, here. But this one is not as severe as the other one, so <clears throat> I'm gonna try to clean this one up. I'm just gonna throw away all this soil and spray the roots with alcohol, 70% alcohol. All right, this is my Orbea Stapelia Varigata. This one just rooted, so this one probably doesn't have it. But the rest I'm gonna pull. And uh, look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is not perlite. This is root mealybugs. That's why they were not doing good. I was wondering why they're not growing, not getting better. Let's check this. Same thing, here it is. Right here is the fuzzy ball. 
see how they're like stretching with the little cotton balls that's that's the root millie bugs all right so this one is not good either tossing all right this is huernia caniensis um this one looked pretty good like the healthiest out of all of them so here it is guys you see root millie bugs here so <coughs> I'm gonna have to clean this all up. Mm. And spray just to be sure. But this one I think was the least infected. The sea roots are pretty good. But I'm gonna have to thoroughly clean all of these guys up and change all the soil. Alright, so. This is the Paleo Shinti. I don't even know. I think that this one is not doing good either. I'm so sad about Lendiflora. Mm, well, this this seems to be pretty good. Well, no, there it is. Look at this. Oh man. Is there any Stapelia so far that doesn't have it? is so bad so pretty much what I'm gonna do is clean the roots from the soil completely wash them in water first gently so I don't damage them and then I'm gonna spray with alcohol or even soak it in alcohol which means I'm gonna have to go shopping because I'm almost out of alcohol so I think I'm gonna go get alcohol get some more soil just so bad so guys um, I'm here in the kitchen and I'm recommending using some old sponge that you have and just scrubbing really well pots I can see actually one white on the edges of the pots from the mealy box I'm trying to pull one of these so you can I can show you the example and it's not for life like this one here, it's millibugs. So make sure to use some detergent. And I'm gonna actually spray it at the end after I scrub it with alcohol. Um, so you don't want to have these root millibugs again. They're really nasty. I mean, I, I hate pests in general and fungus. But these root mealing bugs are a little bit more nasty to me than the ones that are on the surface. And I uh, just want to make sure I wash this really well. So this is what I'm going to do guys. I have a 70% alcohol here and I'm going to just spray the inside of the pots after washing them thoroughly. So just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Um, here's um, mealing bugs around the stem of the plant and roots and I'm going to be just um, washing everything gently. So you clean it the best you can like this, wherever you don't see white anymore. Next one. These bigger ones are a little bit harder because more soil stuck to the roots, so I'm making a mess here in the kitchen. I can't work outside right now. The temperature is dropping and it's really, really wet. It's pouring rain. Otherwise, I'd probably do it there. I haven't used these uh, truffle uh, cups for a while. Uh, now they're going to be used to pour alcohol in. This is 70% alcohol that I bought from Walmart. And I'm going to I'm going to put these roots for a little bit in. Uh, with the hope that I'm not going to 
have another infestation when I place them in a new soil. So these these three uh, stapelias were in the best shape, uh, so I left them for the end and um, uh, I it got so cold, like I said this morning, it's 30, 35 degrees, so I don't want to do it outside because it's so cold. Um, so I'm going to just do this here. This one didn't have any signs on top of getting worse and I'm looking at the root system and there is nothing. So this one is healthy. Um, I'm going to just have to put it back as it was. Then I have um, a Stapelia giganta that started having some issues. Um, here you can see on top of this one, you see this little white dot? That's mealybug. So there is some on the um, outside leaves, um, but I don't know how it is inside in the in the pot. So I'm gonna take a look and make a mess here. Wow, look at all these roots. <laughs> it looks like it probably needs a, a bigger pot or to be divided. Don't see any root mealy bugs. I would like to be able to see a little better if there is anything inside here. No, no sign of mealy bugs. So this one is good. Okay, I just have to figure out if I'm gonna put it in a bigger pot. But it's not gonna really grow during the winter time. It's gonna be dormant, so maybe I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Here's my Huernia Schneideriana. I see some millibugs on top. I'm gonna show you. You can see inside there is some white spots, but um, I wanna see how the roots are doing. Again, look at all these roots. Um, it looks like there is some mealybugs on the top of the plant, but I'm not seeing anything on the roots. So there is a bloom right here that was full of mealybugs. So I'm going to take it out. I'm gonna definitely have to spray this one. Now look at this little, this little one is full of mealybugs. Might pull it and just throw it away. There. But otherwise, pretty healthy. So, <clears throat> so these are all right. So that's a good news. I um, think I'm gonna just leave them as they are and maybe when the spring comes I'm gonna either divide them or um, give them a bigger pot but just treat the top with 70% alcohol and not not treat the roots so guys this is 24 hours later um, these are the roots that I cleaned up and then uh, dipped in the alcohol um, I, I hope this plant is gonna be alright I don't know how how this how distressing this is for roots or the plant. Um, here is the rest of them. So I'm gonna plant them today in the new soil that I prepared. So these guys are all uh, potted up now in the new soil after I have treated them. So this is my uh, Stapelia grandiflora. And as you can see, it just needs a little bit of cleaning from soil. Uh, I think I planted it a little bit too deep, but that's okay. I just um, wanted to situate them soon. I know that, that this was kind of stressful for the plant, so hopefully they recover. And I may not put it right under lights today, just kind of leave it somewhere near the light so it's not as stressed 
um, and these are the little ones that I also cleaned from mealybugs in the roots and let's hope they won't come back this is my Stapalia variegata orbea that's the one with the the stinkiest flower um, and then this is Huernia keniensis. I think I need to spray some tips as well because I see something white here so um, another reason why not to put them straight under lights because you don't want them to burn when you spray them with alcohol so guys to summarize what we talked about today if you notice that your succulents are not growing for over six months and it's not their dormancy time it's time to check what's wrong with the plant if you see black spots unusual colors unusual uh, shapes on the tips of the succulents it's time to maybe uh pull your plant out of the pot and check the root system if you see a a little fuzzy uh, white cotton balls around your roots it's mealybugs make sure to throw away the soil that's infested make sure to wash your plant and then spray it with a 70 percent alcohol or neem oil whatever you are using then uh, put it back in new soil give it a break and don't put it right away under direct sunlight or artificial lights that you're using in your plant room and then uh, hopefully they're going to recover so don't get discouraged and keep trying and sometimes you have to make a decision to throw away some plants because they're heavily infested and they may not recover hope these tips were helpful to you thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video